Well, Oklahoma's aerospace industry gathered in Tulsa at this year's Aerospace Summit, and our Courtney Dehoff was there. Well, think of it as speed dating for industries. At this year's Oklahoma Aerospace Summit, small local suppliers had the chance to speak with representatives of national and international companies and learn all about where the aerospace industry is taking off. It is an engine of industry in Oklahoma. Soaring above all others is the booming Oklahoma aerospace industry. Officials gathered at the 10th annual Oklahoma Aerospace Summit to soar into the future. In doing the research for this event, uh, it goes back 100 years ago this month that Clyde Cessna started kind of the aerospace industry with his first flight in Oklahoma. Step of progress in aerospace and in Oklahoma's economy. Secretary of Commerce Dave back, Lopez. Folks Look how far we've come. Right now, aerospace is nearly 10% uh, of our total gross state product. Uh, so it's a huge part of our economy. And even more important than that is it represents some of the best paying jobs in Oklahoma. So because of that, it not only provides employment, but I think it raises a standard of living for all the citizens in the state. So uh, today's just to put a, a bit of an accent and an exclamation point on just how much aerospace means to our state. And the summit helps people throughout the state make their next connection, says Lopez. There's some great networking that happens. There's some uh, suppliers that get to meet with, uh, with the customers that they're looking for. The other part about this is it gets everybody updated on what's happening in the state. So, for example, today the governor being able to give an update on what's happened to the Oklahoma economy as it continues its recovery much faster than most states. And also that we had a very productive legislative session that she and uh, leaders in the House and in the Senate were able to come together to do even more for the business environment in Oklahoma. So it's a good chance to update on the general uh, economy for the state. Within our nation. Governor Thank Mary Fallon agrees the big sky is big business in Oklahoma. It sends a signal to the industry that Oklahoma supports the industry itself. We know that the average aerospace job pays twice as much as a regular job in Oklahoma. We have almost 500 companies related to aerospace, so it's one of our top industries in our state. And this Aerospace Summit allows us the opportunity to bring the best speakers around the nation, even some internationally, from around the world to come and speak about the trends in the marketplace, what we can expect, and actually even allows people to be able to network among the different companies so that they can build businesses. But I'm also proud Business well so big, Governor Fallon signed a bill for workforce incentives called in WIN. And today we announced the first recipient of a program that we have that we started just a while back called the Prime WIN program, which helps connect federal contracting jobs to Oklahoma suppliers so we can create more jobs and get more federal contracting work, especially related to the aerospace industry in our state. So it's a win-win situation for not only Oklahoma businesses, but certainly for our employees of Oklahoma. Ensuring that work done at the summit will keep moving forward. And then the next part is to think about working together about how do we keep this momentum, what else is needed uh, with the engineering aerospace tax credit that uh, got funded again this session with the prime win incentive. Uh, those are all good, great really, pay setters for us, but there's always competition. So what else can we do better? And that's part of, I think, what we also walk away from this conference with. The summit hopes to assist and retain companies that are in the state, recruit new companies that aren't, and improve Oklahoma's business and educational climate. And this is an industry that looks as if it has some great global growth potential. It is, Rob. Oklahoma is a hotbed for what they call MR&O, maintenance, repair, and overhaul. And currently, planes are being flown in from all around the globe to be refurbished and repaired. All right. Thanks so much, Court.